Have you attempted Great Bay Temple yet? That's that's what I'm doing right now. Wish me luck. Somebody put out a thing that was like, what is your, you know, what is your biggest hot take in terms of Smash stuff? And somebody was like, uh, I hate Kony as a commentator. He's a terrible commentator. He always derails and doesn't talk about the match. That's fine. That's an opinion you can have. I totally get it. But I, I'm always curious, so I go to look at his other posts. The only other times he's mentioned me are when Leffen said Kingdom Hearts was terrible. He was like, wow, you have worse opinions than Kony. And when I said I didn't like Nier Automata. So, I just, sometimes you run into people that really, really identify with pop culture. It's a weird thing. Like, it's okay to like something and not have it be your personality, you know? Just like, I, I, it's so weird to me that people take it personally when I insult their favorite game. Did he have an anime profile picture? No, he didn't. That would have fit, completed the trifecta. Imagine wanting to play a game more than once. That's what I'm saying. Imagine try, wanting to 100% any game. I got shit to do, you know? I'm not trying to 100%. I don't know about you guys, but I get a very, uh, almost, al I, I have to pause the game, otherwise it's gonna keep going. I get a feeling when I beat a game, not unlike when you reach sexual climax, where it's like, as I'm playing the game, I'm like, this is great, I love this, I'm gonna do everything I can, this is incredible, I love this, I'm gonna 100% it. And then I beat the game and I'm like, <sighs> I'm done. I don't want to do anything anymore. I'm going to put that back on the shelf. It's over. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fine, fine. Okay, chat doesn't have sex. You know when you're really hungry and then you eat food and you're not hungry anymore? Kind of like that. What did I even do? I stopped the water wheel, right? Okay, good. Can I focus on the game chat? Okay, so the yellow one is on. Wait, is the other one a pink one? Oh, the pink one's up there. Okay. Oh, God. The water wheel is there. First, I'm just trying to decide what I have to do. Would you like some pot roast? I would love some pot roast. Is this like a D's nuts thing? Are you tricking me? I love puzzles like that. I love puzzles where you finish the solution and it goes away. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's gone from the equation. I fucking love that in video games because I hate being like, wait, do I have to, do I need that later? Anyway, pot roast is delicious, yes. All right, so this thing goes around there. I don't need to go down, do I? I do at some point, okay. Okay. Wait, am I getting... Oh, I'm getting blocked off by this? Oh, the Zora can't even do it. Okay. All right, buddy. I'll go down. Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. What the heck? This sucks. Hold on. Maybe if I can just... <laughs> bonk my head on this fucking wall. Let me in. Let me... Fine. Let me in here. Let me in here. I just want to go... I want to go somewhere. I want to go somewhere. I don't care... What is happening? I want to go into any of these rooms. How about this one? Got it. Okay, I'm in. Okay. I'm in a red room. Looking suspiciously like Sonic Adventure 2. It's like the death chamber. Okay, so I can't get up there because I need something... I'm gonna need something that I can climb up on his head, and I don't have that yet. As far as I know, anyway. And usually I'll, I would be stubborn and try a bunch of shit, because I'd be sure that I had the answer. But I, I've played enough Zelda games now to know that I can't do that. I feel like for a while I was not Zelda game literate, but I, I feel like I get it now, you know? At least somewhat. Yeah, dude, I, I swear, I, I legitimately think 
if you didn't grow up playing Zelda games, a lot of this shit is just cryptic. You know? Yeah, Zelda reading level 1 is just shoot the eyeball. <laughs> shoot the big red glowing thing. I don't think I can get to that. Wait! Wait! Maybe this will work? Right? That's pretty good! That was pretty good of me, right? That would take like half an hour in the last game. And I got the map. You were supposed to just use the hookshot? Oh yeah, you can hookshot chests, can't you? Oh well. I did it the harder way because I'm smart. No, I'm literate. I can read. That's why I got the chest, right? Dummy. How do I stop those things? Wait, can I do this? Yeah! There we go. Bro, I'm getting nice. I'm getting nice at Zelda games. I wonder what it was like playing 2D games your whole life and then all of a sudden Ocarina of Time comes out. I tell this story a lot on stream. I'm older. I'm 31, so I played a lot of 2D games, right? And when I was a kid, you know, I, 3D gaming was, was impossible. So, Mario 64 comes out, right? And they have a demo at Blockbuster. And I'm so excited. Because I'm at Blockbuster renting a game. And my mom's like, here, you can go play that. So I go to play uh, Mario 64 on a system that wasn't out yet. Because the Nintendo 64 wasn't out yet. So anyway, I go to play it. And I'm so excited. And I start trying to play it. And I'm using the N64 D-pad. And it wasn't working. And I spent about... 15 minutes trying to play it trying to play on the d-pad and mario wouldn't move and i thought the game was broken and then i left and i was very sad i didn't even touch the the analog stick dude when i first got a psp i thought the analog stick was a speaker really that's funny kids are stupid kids are very dumb what do you want me to say bro i was i was it's weird i was a smart kid like, I had good grades, and I was, like, ahead in a lot of things. I was a pretty pretty smart kid. But I also didn't know which shoe went on which, which, which foot for a long time. Like, until I was 12. Uh, so if I go this way, I have not gone that way before. But it's probably not going to let me because the water is going in the other direction. But we'll try. We'll try. Nope. Okay. That's fine. What? Oh, it just shot me over here. Have I been in here? Yes, I have. Okay. Is this one of those rooms where if I kill everything, I, I get something? Yeah. I was gonna say, these guys only have one HP. Okay, this is like, this is a supply room. This is just for supplies. Okay. Ocarina is better than Majora's Mask. Not from what I've heard from pretty much everybody. Most people like this instead. I feel like this is like the, uh... I don't know how to describe it. This is like the, the, uh... Discerning man. Ew, what is that? Did I accidentally walk through the boss door? Okay, I'm gonna assume I shoot the thing in the eye, right? Come back here! No, focus on the other thing! Link! Link. Can I just chop them off? Yeah, I don't care. I'll just chop them all. It's fine. I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. You know how many supplies there are in this room? I don't care. Popping bubbles. Bro, I'm not even, like, really getting hurt. I assume this is what I do, and then I get to his eye. Or does he keep growing new bubbles? Bro, 
Bro, he's growing new bubbles. That's cringe. Okay. Come on, bro. Come on, bro! I can't... Bro, this is... Okay, this is annoying. I don't like this fight anymore. I thought I liked it. I don't like it. Send this fight back. To the Zelda polish to... Wait! No, come on! Yeah! Eyes off. Eyes... What the fuck? This was bad. I shouldn't have done this. So you don't shoot him in the eye. Because then you'll die. What the fuck? Let me out of here. Just let me out. How many bubbles are there? Let me out! I just want to get to these. These have hearts in them, right? They don't. Okay, I. this is... This is too much. This is too much. I can't... Okay. I lost that because the frame rate dipped to like five. I can't really do anything if I can't see. Oh, I go back to the beginning. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. 